When I started playing Minecraft in 2013, the jungle biome was the first one I gravitated towards. With all of its beauty and tall trees, it was so inspiring for me to build in. And that's why in this video, I wanted to take the jungle biome and create a jungle treehouse village within it. Let's go check out the build. So to start off with this build, I picked out a lovely spot right next to the river in this jungle biome. And then we're going to begin by transforming some of these basic trees, adding lots more branches to support our treehouse structures, and a few more bushy leaves so that we can have a lovely canopy in this jungle. I'm so excited for that. Then I picked out my treehouse palette and began on the treehouses. This one here has a spiral staircase, but most of them won't have that because I think having too many of these spiral staircases really overtakes the entire look. I also wanted to have a couple rope ladders and just vary these structures from tree to tree and have different ways to get around, and I definitely want them to be all connected by bridges. The palette I went for here is a little bit weird. We've got a lot of neutral colors, but then some sandstone to help accent those tree houses and have them stand out. I also adjust the terrain to make it a little bit more jungly, adding in lots of fun greens and bushes and mossy rocks throughout. That helps the entire atmosphere of the build flow so much better. Little details like that is what makes a build really stand out. For each of the roofs on these tree houses, I'm going with a sort of reddish color palette. The granite, the bricks, and the regular terracotta go together really well to add a nice earthy feel, and the red tones balance with that jungle wood so, so well. The spruce wood just adds a nice neutral color to tie everything together and not make it look too chaotic. Too many contrasting colors in here, in my opinion, just wouldn't work too well. Now we're getting towards the fun part. I've got the general structure laid out for some of the village tree houses, so I make this long path going in towards this hill. This is where things get a little different. I'm adding in some different hobbit hole houses and also some doors going into this tree at the base of it. Adding all of these custom roots to these trees. Every tree that you see in this area will have its own custom roots, and I think that's a really easy adjustment to make to these jungle trees, even if you're playing in survival or on pocket edition. It's totally easy, and it makes the trees come to life, just adding a few different roots to them. In the back up over our hobbit houses, I'm going to be adding three different custom trees, just customizing the trees that were already there and adding some more platforms for different houses. I want everything to flow and be connected together, and most importantly, I want it to be on different Y levels. Now, over to the side, you may have noticed in some of those shots, there is a jungle temple. And I've already transformed a jungle temple quite a lot on this channel, so I just did a very simple Mayan-inspired jungle temple over here. <laughs> the wandering trader was not too impressed with my work, he just really wanted to trade. I think it adds a nice little touch of detail, something to have off on the side, a little bonus structure. Then it's time for the finer details of the build, things that really bring it all together, like adding in different farms. I did have these farms at the bottom instead of up in the trees, and I think that works out well for this build. The composters add such a nice touch of color and texture that we didn't have before 1.14, so I'm super thrilled about that. Then a few more tree houses off in the distance, some more leaves, and we can focus our attention back on this little island over in the entrance. I wanted something simple and stone to kind of tie in that jungle temple, so a little ruined, almost lighthouse-like tower works really well here, and a palm tree and another custom tree to finish it off. Then on this side, we need another hobbit hole off in this sort of hillside. Everywhere I have a hillside, I tried to tuck a hobbit hole. It just makes me happy to build those. And with these details in, the build is complete.
Alright everyone, now that you've seen the actual building process and some of the build, I wanted to take you and walk through in-game with you just to show off some of the details with some shaders on. Today's shaders I'm using is BSL. They are absolutely beautiful, but I'm just slightly laggy because I'm still playing on a laptop. I am upgrading to a PC soon, so this will be one of the last videos where we have this sort of shader lag. All right, here we are at the entrance to the jungle village. I am so pleased with how this entire thing came out, especially with all of the vertical levels we have. As we walk through this entire build, we have so much going on because not only do we have these tree houses and bridges going overhead, we also have a lot of busyness down on the ground here. It looks like the people who live here live up in the canopy, but they also inhabit the forest floor which I really love. Let's start off our tour by heading up into one of the tree houses, shall we? Because I wasn't actually able to show this off on time-lapse. I think doing interior and time-lapse just makes people a bit motion sick because you have to get so up close and it's so sped up. Anyways, let's just head up in here. So we've got a few options, right? Once we're in here, we can go up further and connect to the upstairs layer. We can come in through here towards the bedroom and sort of a sitting area for the villager who lives here. And we can also cross over this bridge and connect to other houses. Cut quite a few different directions that we can go in. Let's head up here and cross this large bridge right here. <laughs> this is one of my absolute favorites. Looking down on everything from up here, oh, I would love to live here. Uh, if you guys don't know, I started playing Minecraft in 2013, a long time ago. I know I already said that in this video, but the first YouTuber that I ever like really clicked on on YouTube was actually Captain Sparkles and he was building a survival base in a jungle. He had this massive tree. Basically, he kept putting dirt and growing another one until it went like all the way up and he made a treehouse base and eventually I got into making my own and I was so inspired by him. The entire time I was building this, I couldn't stop thinking about that. It was so inspiring to me when I was <laughs> just a little noob starting out. Let's head over this bridge now as well. I wanna try and show off as much of this as we can. Here's one of our lovely jungle villagers. It appears he is stuck. Are you stuck? Come here, get down, get down. There you go. Is that better? Do you feel better? <laughs> They're so silly. So we've got all of these different bedrooms and storage areas up within these trees. Lots of areas where the villagers could hang out, interact. What I love about this is the tree houses feel very built in, right? They're not just like attached. Like you've got these branches that travel all the way through the houses in some areas, right through the roofs. I didn't really care. I didn't try to move any branches out of the way of the houses. I just built the houses around the branches. And that gives this really cool effect. Like you are one with the trees when you're up here. Alright, let's hop down now and spend a little bit of time down on the forest floor. Over in this area, we've got these two sort of huts set up. Oh, hello kitty! <laughs> and I did these with the campfire logs. I love the way that that looks. It's a bit of a pain to build because you can't actually place the, uh, the unlit one down. I kind of wish you could. But oh well, it gives a really nice effect to this uh, forest hut. I love the granite walls bringing in that red color instead of having to bring in the stone like we had to before whenever we would build walls. Now we have so many color options. I think red sandstone and end brick and regular sandstone could have also worked really well with this build. But granted it was. Over here we've also got another cooking area with a little campfire set up, some carpet, and general storage for people to store all of their wares that they need to cook with. Let's go over this way now and cross over this little bridge to get over to the other side of the river. Look at the view from here. Oh my goodness. Just a full 360 gives you a really good idea of the feel that I was going for here. I think the atmosphere in this jungle has been completely changed by what is a fairly simple build. Like you'll see some of these trees, like this one right here, this is still the default tree, but I've added roots to it and incorporated it in with these like little palm trees and just some of the slightly customized trees. And it really just changes the whole feel having a more full canopy and not having the entire ground covered in bushes. As we come over here, we've got this little uh, cart that's been laid down. 
we've got these banners. I set these up as sort of just a pop of color within here. When I was building it, I was noticing that it was a lot of these very neutral colors, and I wanted an easy way to bring color into this build. So adding little banners like this hanging all throughout between the trees, I think really, really helps with that. You can also see right here, I've done one of these rope ladders. I love the way this looks. I kind of almost love this more than the spiral. I think the spiral is really nice, but if we had a spiral on every single one of these trees, that would kind of take away from it a little bit. So I've used barrier blocks, which you can, by the way, get in the normal game. All you have to do is do slash give and then your name and then barrier blocks, and that'll just pop up right there. And then we can build with these and you can see there they are. And I've just laid the ladder on that so that it sort of looks like it's floating. Let's just head over into our camp area. I've set up this simple little tent, again, just to vary things a little bit, add in structures that, you know, don't really seem to fit with the theme, but just add a little bit of variety and a little pop of color, like even the white. We have nothing else that's white in here, so adding that in does add a nice little accent, even though it's technically not a bright, flashy color. And here is the first of our hobbit holes. The hobbit holes, of course, also have a very quaint interior, almost a little bit more interior than I think the, uh, the tree houses have, but I really, really love that. These are almost like our ground workers down here, which I love. They've been eating some soup by the looks of it. Let's leave that poor person's house. <laughs> Let's head back over the river now and go explore the rest of our village. All right, let's head over here now towards our farm area. As you can see, we've got a variety of different farms set up in this area, just along the path and along the river. And we've also got a few more tree houses. This one right here doesn't have any bridges connecting it from anywhere else. It's just got a simple rope ladder leading us up into the top. And once you are up here, you can see we have a fantastic view of everything from up here. Oh, look at that little parrot. <laughs> I absolutely love them. And from here, of course, we can see that temple right in through the trees. I love the look of that. I didn't build the temple to be like an accent in the village. I wanted to focus very heavily on the tree houses, but I think having that peeking through the trees where you can see it from time to time just helps so much. And I knew when I saw it there, I had to transform it. I couldn't just leave the vanilla structure alone. It just couldn't be that way. Heading back down the ladder now, let's look at these farms a little bit more close up. I love the way that these sort of all layered together. They add a little pop of color, which I really like. When you've got the carrots and the beetroot and the wheat, it does add something that, I don't know, it's, I love having farms in my build. I don't know what I would do if I ever had to create a build that couldn't have a little farming area. I would almost feel a little bit out of place got this potato farm down here by the river as well and up here this one right here is actually my favorite because I've done this sort of beet farm first and then I wrapped this pathway around the beet farm and made a little wheat farm up to the side I did this sort of randomly they are a little bit circular but as you can see from this one I didn't really worry about it being a perfect circle I just sort of blended them together in whichever way it needed to be and I think that's the nice thing about this build there's nothing really perfect about it. It's kind of messy and crazy. Oh, by the way, if you were wondering where these villagers go to the toilet, that might be the fanciest toilet that has ever been made. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having that one. <laughs> All right, let's head back over this way now. We've got these two hobbit holes. I absolutely love the way these two came out. This one over here was designed by Romer. Look at this storage area, just so many lovely little details. Look at this book. There and back again. <laughs> I take so much inspiration from The Hobbit and from Lord of the Rings in these builds, so that's super cool to finally have a actual Hobbit hole in here. Hello, am I interrupting something? Huh. Okay, I'll just... I'll be on my way. So that's one hobbit hole. And then over in this other one, this one was designed by Rowling. And this one's a little bit different. So we've got this kitchen area over here, but then we have a mining quarry. Which I wasn't sure that hobbits did any mining, but it appears that they do. Look at this cave, everyone. 
Oh my goodness, don't you just wish that caves in Minecraft could look like this? The atmosphere that has been able to be created right here just makes me so, so happy. Let's look at it from this angle down here. We've got some diamonds being mined down here. Oh my goodness. Anyway, you're not here to see a mine. Let's head back up into the tree houses now, shall we? Oh, and just past the mining quarry, we've just got a couple of simple bedrooms in here for whoever is doing all of that hard work down in the mines. All right, and from here, we've only got a couple of more tree houses to go. I'm gonna wind my way up this tree. I think this tree over here is probably my favorite. It's the most customized out of any of them, but it's got this bridge over here that actually connects you to terrain so that you can get up in these tree houses over here. I really like the idea of that. We've got another lovely little villager up here. It looks like he may be the cartographer. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the view of the jungle from here. You have such a beautiful view, sir. Oh my goodness. I could totally see myself having a survival base up here. And I feel like it would be totally doable. There's nothing really in this build that makes it impossible to do in survival. You'd have to collect a lot of materials, but the tree houses are just attached to pretty normal trees. You could add branches. The hardest part would probably be the leaf collection. But we're in a jungle, so I'm sure you could find some leaves somewhere. The last few houses are right over here. We've got a rope bridge connecting us up to some higher levels and a simple storage area and sitting area over here. This sitting area, by the way, incredible view. <laughs> if I could spend all of my days up in the treetops, I think I would. It's one of the things that I did a lot as a kid. I loved climbing trees and pretending that I had a tree house up in them, even though it was really just a few sticks. <laughs> it was one of my favorite things to do when I was really small. Probably scaring my parents half to death, but definitely worth it. There's something about being up in a tree with the birds in nature. It just feels right. It's so peaceful and beautiful. I hope that all of you feel that I've been able to properly portray this sort of feeling within the game Minecraft. Alrighty, and with all of that said, I think this is where I'm going to end this video. I really hope you loved this build as much as I did. I had so much fun creating this. I actually hopped off a plane from San Francisco. I was there on a lovely business trip. It was so much fun. And when I came back, I was so inspired. I built all of this all in one day. <laughs> it was just so much fun and the trees just lend themselves to having tree houses in them. It doesn't even feel like you have to struggle with it at all. It just, it really was one of those builds that just sort of flowed together. Thank you so much for watching my process of building this. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for supporting my channel. Goodbye everyone.